Hey guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging. And I wanna say, first of all, thank you so much for joining me for National Raw Feeding Week 2019. This has been a labor of love. I've loved every single minute of putting these videos together for you. And I so appreciate the views, the comments and the shares. It's amazing and it's been so much fun. So in this upcoming video, I'm gonna be introducing you to two of my friends, Larry and Charlie from Dubai and the Facebook page, Raw Struck. These are videographers who I met at the Raw and Natural Dog Summit, hosted by Dogs Naturally Magazine. And they are so talented, and they are using that talent to raise awareness of feeding fresh food to our pets. And so I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Today, one in two dogs is diagnosed with cancer. In the 70s, it was only one in 10 dogs. Today, 47% of dogs are dying from cancer. You know what's the craziest thing about all of this? 90% of cancer is actually preventable. That is a big, big hope for us. We, the pet parents, we can do something to save our dogs. And we are on a quest today to find answers. So the first thing that you can do is stop the unnecessary vaccines because we know that the adjuvants, the chemicals in the vaccines are linked to cancer and, and other insidious diseases. Stress is one of the biggest factors that I always am talking to my clients about because really it's the perfect storm that causes cancer and I will let you know after 20 years being a holistic veterinarian there is always an emotional component that happened right before the cancer symptoms actually started showing up. Well stress as a as a is a major contributor for exacerbating any kind of health condition. Kibble has nothing to combat stress. It causes oxidative stress. The first thing you want to do is avoid the excess soluble carbohydrate, such as you find in kibble. A lifetime of that is going to be short. Eating, we're taking in foods that have chemicals and additives. We're really being counterintuitive this part is health concern. Glyphosate. Glyphosate is so prevalent. As a matter of fact, the average dog has up to 5,000% more glyphosate in his urine than humans do. And yes, that causes cancer. Stay away from the processed foods and start getting your dog as much fresh, real food as possible. A lot of it's environmental. And so my dog walks in Los Angeles every single day. So I can't control the environmental process, but I can control the food. Be very careful of things that you have in your home, uh, like cleaning products and things that are personal use. Environmental toxins, um, so from probably yard chemicals, um, the shampoos that we were bathing with him with, you know, food he was eating, um, it's layer racing. It is vitally important what we put in our dogs for food, vaccinations, toxic drugs, Crappy water all contributes to I know that raw feeding isn't bulletproof. That's only part of the journey. Uh, there are so many things that we need to start doing, so many things that we need to start learning. But I always want to tell people, when it comes to learning how to raise our dogs naturally, this is a marathon. 